Hello again. This is uh, Computers Made Simple. We're going to be talking about Windows 8 today. Uh, first of all, I thought we'd show you a little commentary on Windows 8 from the uh, Dell Facebook page. Um, people have a lot to say about touchscreens in Windows 8. This person says, for, for your information, nobody wants a touchscreen because nobody wants Windows 8. For a tablet, sure. Laptop or desktop, no. This person hates the touchscreen. It's too much money for this person. Uh, the touchscreen broke. And down here it says, I hate Windows 8. Things like that. Well, a lot of companies are pushing touchscreens. Um, just so you know, you do not need a touchscreen at all. You can uh, get along quite well with just a mouse especially if you're working on a desktop or a laptop. There's no reason to pay the extra money for a uh, touchscreen. Okay, today what we're going to do is change the desktop look. Uh, if you right-click the desktop, I mean, th this original setup is pretty boring. So what we want to do is personalize it with more themes, is what they call them. There are three that come with the computer. You've got, you know, with Windows 8, you've got Windows, Lines and Colors, and Flowers. We want to get some more. So we're going to click on this Get Some More, and our browser will open. And here are some selections. Snowy Night, Muscle Cars, Isle of Man, things like that. Um, if you click on one of these, well, first you get the details, which is kind of cool. And if you go back, you can you can then download it. We've already downloaded stuff, so uh, maybe we'll get glowing beaches next. Now, once they download, <clears throat> what you've got at the bottom of your screen here in Chrome is the actual uh, screensaver or theme. So you just click on it. Uh, there it goes. It's almost instantaneous and uh, we will we will select that one so now our our screensaver or our theme is classic cars there's an old mustang actually and a camaro so that's a lot better than the standard one we would suggest only downloading this kind of thing from a legitimate site um, microsoft we would only actually download them from microsoft no one else what you get with the other uh, downloads is m malware frequently and certainly you get adware which you don't want. Microsoft doesn't have any of that and they've got enough themes uh, so you don't need to get them anywhere else. Now the next thing we're going to do is going to add a printer. Now you'd think Windows would make it easy to add a printer but they don't. We find this menu top right corner top right corner there it is and we go down to settings and we go to change PC settings we haven't added a printer to this installation yet and we want to go to devices you'd think it would be here okay so we go to devices it's already got the standard Microsoft XPS document printer set up but that's not really a printer all that does is print to a file we've done this before so if we click on add a device Windows looks for devices. Well, the printer isn't attached to this computer. It's a network printer. And we know it's not going to find it because we searched twice before. So we're going to click here. So none of these. This is PC Info, Autoplay, Typing, Devices back again. Nowhere does it say add a printer. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little magnifying glass and we're going to type add printer. Oh, and there it is. So we want to go, go view devices and printers. We're already at device manager, so we want to go view devices and printers. And it takes a few minutes to load up. Didn't the first time for some reason, but it takes a while now as it's searching. Oh, there are some of the things that we have. We don't have a fax machine. We have this document printer, but here we go. We want to add a printer. Now the printer is already showing up there. It knows the printer is there. I don't know why it didn't f couldn't find it the first time, but that's the printer that we want. So we're going to go next, and then it's going to try and find 
I guess, 3010.cn. Well, it's not there. So we have to use the disk. Anyway, this is how you find the... Uh, we're going to get the drivers from Dell, so we're not, we're not going to worry about that now. But this is actually where you go through the motions to find a printer. If the printer is attached to your computer, no problem. Windows will find it. If it's a network printer, you have to go through this this routine here. And that's it. And over and out. Uh, hope you enjoyed the second one. Thanks for watching.